Hello everyone. Today I will introduce how to realize multilingual function. Let's watch a video first. Today's contents include three parts. Software setting, development steps, and demonstration operation. Part one is to understand the software setting. This part requires three functions. Pop-up menu, basic touch and return key code. These for parameters. When we choose the touch area, they are automatically generated. This is display effect of pressing the touch area. Here I set an effect. We could also set no effect. This part we need to pay attention to. Must use this value. This is the default variable address. Here we choose in. Write the entire variable address. Here choose the corresponding pop-up menu page. The next page ID, automatically generated based on the selected page. Menu area. The coordinates of the upper left corner. and the lower right corner of the pop-up menu area, we need to frame the position of the menu. This part is the display menu area. Show location. The coordinates of the upper left of the pop-up menu's display position on the current page. The last part, it can be set by default. The second function basic touch, as shown in the image on the right. We need to set this function on each language button. This part, they are automatically generated when we choose the touch area. We cannot set these to places, or you could set them according to your needs. The key value corresponds to the background image ID. For example, Chinese background image ID is 32, and the key value is 20 hexadecimal. The last part, it can be set by default. The next is return key code. This function is designed to enable multi-language switching. When we power on, we need to click on this area first to turn on the multilingual function. You could also set other areas. These are automatically generated when we choose the touch area. These can be set by default. Key value. We have to set 5A. Because this is fixed value. This parameter can be set by default. This part, we need to set 00DE, which is the default variable address. The last part, we choose high byte, because this is the default value. Part 2, Development Steps. There are 5 steps in total. Step 1, Create a new project. It should be noted here that, the resolution needs to be consistent with the screen. And then add the background images. Image names must start with zero. Step 2. Generate ICL file. Click to an ICL generator. Select directory. And then generate ICL file. It is recommended to generate 30 to ICL file. If you want to name it other numbers. You need to modify it on CFG file. In addition, we need to generate ICL files with background images in other languages. As shown in the image, we could remark the language when we can name it to facilitate our identification. Step 3. Click pop-up menu. Choose the area of touch and set the parameters. Step 4. Click Basic Touch. Choose the area of touch and set the parameters. It should be noted here that different languages need to set the corresponding key value according to the ID. 
Step 5. Click Return Key Code. Choose the area of touch and set the parameters. The last step, click Save and Generate. Put the following files into an SCT folder and download it to SD card. The two files can be provided by our sales staff. One is initialization parameters. Another is kernel upgrade. That's all for what we explain. Now let's demonstrate. Open Diga software. Create a new project. Choose the corresponding resolution. Choose the file path. Add the background images. Return the welcome interface. Click ICL Generator. Select Directory. Name it 32 and save it into an SCT folder. As described earlier, we also need to generate ICL files in other languages. Same steps. Names English 33. Names Japanese 34. Names German 35. Names Korean 36. Names Hindi 37. Names Russian 38. Names Portuguese 39. Now start to make the project. Click pop-up menu. Choose the area of touch. Set button effect. Choose image. We need to set 00DF, because this is a fixed value. Choose in. Click pop-up menu. Choose the menu area. They are automatically generated. This can be the same as the upper left coordinate of the menu. Next click Basic Touch. Choose the area of touch. Here we don't need to set. The key value corresponds to the background image ID. So set 20. Setting other languages is the same step. 
We only need to change the key value. Next click return key code. Choose the area of touch on the first page. Set key value. This is fixed value. Set variable address. Which is the default value. Choose high byte. After we have set all the parameters. Click save and generate. Put both files into the Dwin SCT folder. Download this folder to SD card. Once power on, it is the beginning of the effect we see. Today's teaching content is all over.